<laughs> Here we are in the car waiting for uh, the John Dick Memorial 50K to start. I'm already having trouble with words this morning. Uh, I've got the added challenge of having to wear glasses because I'm an idiot and poked myself in the eye at work. And the optometrist, ophthalmologist, yeah, ophthalmologist dilated my eyes to get a better look to make sure there wasn't a lot of damage. And now they're super sensitive to light and there's gonna be light reflecting off the snow. So run with glasses. He's so cool. <laughs> On another note, we both signed up for this race. Well, it's actually a run with the intention of DNFing. I mean, we're, we're probably gonna do two or three laps of like a 10K lap course. You just sitting there, <laughs> get a video of me looking like a fool. All right. So me and Cena both signed up for this 50K race or memorial run uh, with the intention of DNFing. It's a 10K loop. We're probably gonna do it two or three times. Probably not gonna do it five times. Probably not. I mean, I didn't bring enough fuel for that, but I hear the snacks here are like supreme. So, yeah, I mean, uh, if the snacks keep me going, there's no stopping me. There's not stopping me, except I, I mean, I do have to go back to the ophthalmologist oh, yeah. later today. So that's yeah, that's that, kind of the only limiting let's factor. Let's go fast. Yeah, it's just so we, <laughs> we are gonna knock out this unplanned for 50K as fast as we possibly can <laughs> so I can go get my eyes poked and prodded again. This will be exciting. start I decided to adjust my shoelaces which ended up in them snapping and I think this is gonna result in me having a DNF yeah. just kidding I was already fighting on DNFing so this is a lesson check your equipment maybe change your laces once every five to six years and crap like this won't happen and don't kneel in nettles <laughs> with loop one yep. we just stopped at the, the little hut and filled our pockets with all kinds of oh, snacks so many snacks no so many chocolates cookies i had like a little delicious cheesy ham wrap there's something called scottish tablet <laughs> it was kind of like ambrosia oh it was so good so good and john did his eye sauce yep, i did my eye sauce and now i need to wash the trail and not fall on my face I was surging ahead of a group, you know, just to get ahead. It wasn't quite the right pace. But then I forgot to stop surging. So now we're on a little bonkity bonk. <laughs> I'm getting warm. I need, to, I need to adjust some layers. I can maybe take my hat off and let out the crazy ultra hair. I need to... Ultra hair. I mean, I, we're running 12 miles today. I need to, you know what Taylor Swift says, I need to calm down. <laughs> We 
just got left by the first place people, so cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a Steam Town fan, but I wouldn't pass it off. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> I've been trying to hide because I'm scared. Confusing which is one from the other. Because it doesn't mean so much in the end. So we're at mile 14 and a half. Yep. Just about done with this. Yeah, um, doing our 25K. So here's what I've observed. Uh, I'm powering the hills. I've got a lot of power going up hills. So my one week of structured training, it shows. Yeah, and it really just goes to show that all you have to do is just train hard one week out of the whole cycle and you get a huge benefit. Yeah, so I'm, I'm basically out trained up like, <laughs> Go home, take a nap. 100k could be tomorrow, she'd crush it. Yeah, for sure. Power hike. That's all you got? Yeah, that's all I got. I'm just working on my power hiking. Okay. I'm, I'm actually surprisingly tired. For, well, I mean, you is had, that like 15 miles is like a short distance? But you had a medical emergency like 12 hours ago. Yeah, but it wasn't like... <laughs> I mean, it was sort of like mentally draining. Yeah. Which certainly adds to it. Sure does. But yeah, I've never had. Oh, there's a cookie on the ground. Oh, that's sad. Somebody <laughs> lost a cookie. But yeah, I've never had my eyes touched so much touched. in my entire life. Touched. Where touched. Are you, where, where are you from? France? <laughs> I'm from Touched. Wrong. Would you like to touch my eyes? <laughs> just finished the John Dick Memorial 50K. And by finished, I mean we DNF'd it. 25K. <laughs> we had a blast though. That was the plan. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a good time. Um, I'm so cold. Um. You look really cold. <laughs> oh, it was, it was good. I don't have anything significant to say. <laughs> Here we are again, driving back to Madison. My eyes are on the road, not on you. So yeah. ignore my lack of eye contact. Yeah, I, I am also, my eyes are not on the road. I am staring directly into the camera. No matter which way my head's facing, you just can't tell because glasses. Yeah. Anyway, so we got in the car and I started driving and I was like, boy, we did not really recap that very well. It's because it's so cold that we cooled down. We had a bowl of chili and then we like all the sweat was on. It was just too cold and yeah. I was too distracted. Like we were in a busy parking lot. There's people everywhere and I, it was chaos. Yeah, and, and I had a pre-noon hams. Which, for those who aren't familiar with Wisconsin, is a beer. And that also kind of derails my thought process just a little bit. Yeah, so here we are collecting our thoughts, driving, eyes on the road. Um, Did we, I say pre-race hams? I don't know what you said. It was a post-race <laughs> hams, but either way. Um, we ran 15.4 miles. The yeah. course was set up in, um, they called it 10K loops, but really you could break it down into 5K and yeah, there was like a one like 5k that was just like a straight out and back and one that was like kind of a lollipop. Yeah. So you passed your car every three miles, which was really convenient because especially on a day like today where like there it started with the snow very hard and crunchy and then as the day progressed the snow got turned into mashed potatoes. So if you were one of those really cool trail runners with like a few pair of trail shoes, that was your day. Oh yeah. We just brought the one pair that I mean, I had two pairs, but I also did not feel the need to change them, yeah. mainly because they're literally like the exact same shoe, so it, it doesn't help. Yeah, so we did um, we did two and a half loops, which equated to 15.4 miles. With about 1,500 feet of elevation. Yep. So, you know, there, there, there was some good climbing. It wasn't like a terribly hilly or, I mean, it wasn't a technical course per se, but the, the terrain just the, the, was technical. The, snow, the snow made it like more technical yeah. than just a typical trail run. But I guess that's just winter trail running in general, which yeah. I don't do a lot of. And I'm 
sort of proud of myself for actually getting out and running on trails more this year in winter. Yeah, big, big step. Hey, yeah. Okay, let, let's talk about how strong I was running up hills today. Yeah, <laughs> we were going to talk about that. On a take you're not going to see, we already covered this, but let's cover that again. Um, I was just like cruising up the hills like no big deal today. Like, yeah, and yeah, then, I was I was working my ass off on like some of those climbs, like keeping up with Cena because she had like these random just like surges of energy where she just like start taking off and I'd be like, well, t t time to pick up the pace a bit. Yeah, I would surge and then all of a sudden I'd think, oh, I got it up. Yeah, kind of bonking a little and then I'd like calm down a little and then I'd have some sugar and some cookies or whatever else I had in my pockets and then all of a sudden I was surging again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that, that kept the course entertaining. But also, one thing I really did like about the, the 10K loop with all the little outbacks is you got to see people like pretty much constantly. If, if you stopped or slowed down for like even a minute, pretty much like without fail, you'd have a runner either coming from the other way or coming up from behind you. So there was just, there was always people, which was like, yeah, and the I really liked. The people were all in such a good mood. Like, well, yeah, nobody, it, like, it didn't seem like anyone was in a dark place. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's like 30-some degrees in the morning in February yeah. in Wisconsin. Like, that is wild. And, like, blue sky, big, beautiful pine trees. 